This is the Volkswagen ID Buzz Cargo and we're going to have a right good look at it man. Being a van, I think the best place to start would be in the back. There's quite a bit of space in here. Around here there's a wee handle in here. And then your handle here to open it. I've got a dust sheet down because we've had some jip rock in here this morning. We did need to cut the sheets down to 2.2 .2 to get them in. But because it's electric, the battery's in here. Here, but after that, there's still plenty of space in it. I've had a few bugs, but this here is the biggest badge available in any Volkswagen. And if I fill this lever here, the front will pop down. And in here, this is where you get your screen wash, your brake fluid, all the kind of normal things, and other things I have not got a clue about. It's also got the optional 19 inch rims on it. Look at the size of that for a, a van wheel. That's incredible, and I think there's one of them actually comes with 20, 20 watts. And there's plenty of legroom in the front, I mean look at this for the passenger. You could get another set of knees in there. And the visibility is incredible, especially at these wee front windows you see, so much. You've got the screen here with everything you really need, your radio, your Bluetooth. Check your vehicle status, your tyre pressures, a mini mile, it's done. You've got your Apple CarPlay and you can check the charge in it. We've got 58% left, 126 miles. So I guess we better look at what it's like to drive. This is how simple it is. You just get in, right? See as long as the key's in it. Seat belt on. Foot on the brake. There we go, ignition, into drive, and away. We're actually in eco mode now, and it's effortless to drive. I think see my last four cars were automatics. And I've never had an automatic van, and I don't think there's enough automatic vans on the road. I don't understand why. And this is basically an automatic. I don't need to worry about changing gears. I just press the throttle, away we go. And if I flick this stock here, we go for die drive into the B. And that's when it does that regenerative brake. Bra I can never say that, regenerative braking. So when I lift off, it will slow down. So see when you're sitting in traffic, or you're just putting around these back roads, you can drive it with one pedal. Look, you're going to save a fortune. You're never going to need to put brake pads on this. You just go, stop. But you know what I like? You don't often see in a van mode sport. <laughs> that rumble strips. And that makes me worry about big keys because they're rattling about. But look at all the storage up here while we're checking the keys out. Plenty. Even comes with us. It's an old school Astro if you ask me, but a van that goes into sport mode is the, the pickup on it. You go into the speed limit. That's the instant torque, it's just away you go. Here the tyres going to be a bit behind you. idea and then when that's all done and dusted you can go back into comfort. I'm gonna try a wee cheeky 0 to 60 using the stopwatch. I say go you have start rate. Right? right. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Stop! I absolutely love just 
just how effortless this is to drive. Honestly, as a work van, I've never drove a work van better than this. Home charging is definitely essential right enough, but I charged this up to 80%. I've been to Grangemouth and picked up all the materials that I needed when my van broke down. Uh, I've been out playing about with it, I've took people runs in it, let them experience it. I've gave it a wee tickle now and again and it's a 52%. So if I was charging this at the house overnight, it's more than capable of doing what I would need it to do as a wee work van. Because I wouldn't be buying it to replace this. I would use it to replace this. Because that would be its role in the business. Not doing the heavy graft of the diesel. The light duties, that's where it's at, and it's definitely got a, a purpose there.